Hey, evening, everybody. Um, just want to introduce you guys to my uh, next build. Uh, this is Transcare in uh, West Hamilton. It's, uh, I guess, well, adjacent to the CP uh, Aberdeen Yard. And what they do is they transfer mostly steel coils. Um, and then they also have provision to do any other kind of load as well. Um, they think they got three cranes operating inside this building. And it looks like they're doing an addition when this photo is taken. These are all Google Earth images. Um, good thing about Google Earth, as everybody knows, is you can take measurements off of this. So um, brief overview of what I'm planning on doing. I'm going to take only this part of the structure here. And I'm only going to do up to the uh, the um, the truck door here. So we got the delivery door with the platform. we got the two train tracks. And then we've got a transport truck door here. I'm only doing up to there and I'm only doing up to here. Um, if I measure this out in HO scale, just this portion here, it's like a meter, no, a meter 20. It's huge. Um, and the whole thing would probably be a meter 90, uh, almost two meters long, uh, which is insane for a railroad or for a model railroad. Um, so I've shrunk it down to 80 centimeters by about 30. And, uh, I'll just show you my design after, but so this is the building. I'll give you a few views of, of what it looks like. Um, this is up, up close door. I believe this is an air filter, um, but you can see they've got their own track mobile as well. Um, just briefly go on. This is the backside of what I'll be modeling. So I don't really need to do much detail here, but just to give you a look at the siding they have and the roof they have. The roof is interesting. It's a two thirds, one third split. And I believe that's because it's resting on the, the, the crane track. Um, there's one crane here and one crane here, tracks wise. So there's, there's a crane here, a crane here, and a crane here. And those are the tracks that the train the crane rides on. So they've, they've pitched the roof like that. And I'll try and model that as well. And then this is a view looking toward the escarpment as looking south. Um, interesting thing about the yard, all of these... Uh, uh, cylindrical hoppers here are accessible by um, truck so it's like a kind of an intermodal facility I guess um, this guy here as of today is currently unloading center beams with uh, lumber loads on them and then obviously this is Transcare doing all the, the heavy lifting um, and I'm not even sure if they do anything else at this yard it just seems like it's it's not for for switching cars and stuff it's for Basically transloading the whole thing seems to be a transload facility now. Um, oh, that's another one. Okay, so I'll switch over to the last shot that I've taken. This is uh, taken from the Transcare um, film they have on YouTube. Um, gives you a better idea of, of the details. Um, they got coil cars. They've got flatbed sheet steel, a couple of those, and then they've got stuff in gondolas as well. And then obviously they've got the the trucks with the hoop uh, tarp over the back to take the coils out of there. Um, the trucks will go in through the train door as well. They can offload at this, uh, the pull up here, the, the dock, and then they can drive through this door as well. Um, so kind of cool, uh, lots of options. I'll just uh, go oh, this way. So this is inside Transcare. Um, they have the area fenced off, it's all automated. These cranes are run by a computer and they, they pick the coils out based on the job submitted before they even enter the building. So it's kind of an automated system, pretty cool. No guys go back here. Guys are out here um, where the tracks and the trucks are. Um, basically, the coils get stacked before anybody comes in and then they all get loaded on or unloaded. This is the interior. This is the parting in a model. So... I'm going to do the dock here, which is a concrete dock. And then you've got your crane support, crane support, crane support, and there'll be three cranes. What I'm going to do is divide it into the two first two sections are going to be for coil cars. Uh, I've estimated that's 22 centimeters long a piece. And then the remainder is going to be longer. And that'll be for flatbeds, center beams, anything else that's longer cars um, and, and, and weird loads that are not coils on this far end here. Um, yeah, so that's the interior of the facility. I'm only going to roof the back portion. I'm going to keep most of it open. I'll show you my design. That's their trackmobile. 
and they take uh, they got Furex and CIGX here so it's not CP only which is kind of cool because you can do any kind of cars you want um, this is uh, the exit door on the west side so this is this is where they do all the kind of um, odd heavy lifting so these aren't coils this is obviously sheet steel on this side this is the uh, corner of the dock they have inside so you have forklift up there and then obviously they've got different um, attachments for the crane to lift different size things so that's kind of neat and there's the truck obviously loaded up and there's the operator there that's a manual operation i guess not automated and there's a truck coming in from the east side um, so you, trucks can come in through the uh, the train door or the truck door. Obviously, there's no uh, cars in here, so he's using the bigger opening. Why not? And close up of the crane and the cradles that everything's on. They got pressure sensors on them all, so they can see how much it weighs. And I'm sure they got RFID in there as well. And so that's the the crane loading onto the truck. All right. So I'm going to skip over to SketchUp, and this is my design now. Okay, so I'm, as I said, I'm only going to do a portion of this. So I think, well, measurements, overall measurements in HO scale, well, in real scale, as I'm building, um, 80 centimeters along the back here. And then I've got it on a bit of an angle. I'll show you now. So it's narrow at one end and wider at the other. And so this guy here is about 30 centimeters and this guy here is about 36 centimeters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this on the edge of the layout. And this is the view you're going to get from the edge. And I'm not going to roof the whole thing. Um, so you'll be able to see in this side. And I'll have coils behind the fence here. And they're all be basically on cradles and stacked up as a foreground view. And then on this side, there'll be sheet steel, pipe, anything weird that they've unloaded from this section. So this is the, you see these little lines here. This is the coil car, coil car, and then oversized center beam or flatbed or bulkhead flat or whatever, or gondola on this side. So this is the wider crane, the bigger crane, and then there's two smaller cranes in here. And then at the back there is the loading dock platform. So there's uh, delivery doors on either side for trucks and there'll be a forklift up there. Um, so that's my building, basically. Um, I've had a few goes at it. I'm on my second go right now. I won't show that just yet, but I, I have started building this. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do my walls out of yet, but I've got my base done. And uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll show you some progress when I get to it. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to show that as an intro. Okay, hopefully you guys follow along. Oh, thanks for all the viewers of the last video. That's fantastic. And uh, appreciate all you viewers and all your subscribers, new subscribers, and uh, everybody commenting and liking. That's fantastic. Thanks very much.